has changed from being minus one or two to like 11 degrees. Crazy. Um, I had a great time at the tractor run last night. I'm trying to remember. Andy's here. Morning, Andy. Good morning. Do you have a good time? Brilliant. Well done, Ollie. And oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. I've, uh, I've seen Ollie. He's been on, um, like, their... I want to say, like, Look North. That's what we call ours. BBC oh, Look North. But it's yeah. like BBC whatever. Merseyside. Yeah. Massive clip on it. Brilliant. Um, so, yeah. I'll put a link in again below to the to, if people want to donate to that tractor room, be business. Right, me and Andy got to feed stuff around because I'm going in a bit. Jumping on this. I've gone from a TM420S last night with the big wheels on it to our TM320S, so we'll see um, if that's any different. It does look a bit like a dinky toy, yeah. <laughs> yes, Andy said to me, it's like the TM's really, really steamed up. Like, she's had it running for me. And it is, it's steamed up on both windows, so whether that's to do with the change in weather or what, I don't know, but yeah, it's, uh, it's bizarre. Okay, so we've encountered our first problem of the day. The ram's come off the end of the bucket here, look. So I'm going to have to pull the door out, and then try and put that back onto there. Uh, me and Em did it the other day, so if, uh, if I'm struggling, I'll get Andy to give me an hand. There we go, look, I've got it back on now. So it's supposed to have like a little bracket here, a metal bracket to um, stop this going to the left, but it's a bit of a design flaw in it. It does often break the bolt or snaps off and then we just keep running it how it is and yeah. I need to make another bracket, I think. Andy's on it anyway, he's got all the lights on, look. Business. I'm so happy that it's warmed up and we've not got to worry about water troughs anymore oh it's brilliant absolutely brilliant i can't make our tm320s bounce anyway not at the minute with the bucket on it's too well balanced right i'm just gonna let andy into the sheds now he's on it with the lights look what a beast we also had a straw blower on didn't we on the uh tractor Blowing straw everywhere. Maybe a bit of a self and safety hazard, but it looks a bit like snow. In this corner, the water troughs they've knocked over, and Andy just tried to lift it up and he's wet himself. <laughs> they made a real mess in this corner, though, with it. So we'll have to um, we'll have to get some wood or something, won't we? Just try and level it out. I don't know. What a mess. We've still not got the ram on the um, straw blower. It's running on one ram at a minute. So we're just having to fetch the bales round and then Andy's loading them into the blower. So we're not using that door a lot at all because we don't want to start twisting it. Right, that's the last thing we want to do. But we still need to use this machine. Don't forget to like and subscribe because we're nearly at 15,000 followers. It'd be fantastic to get there before Christmas or before the new year. So yeah, please press the like button and subscribe if you're not already. Business. Right, I've just jumped on the nine litre. I'm going to go and get uh, Andy a few bales. Another JCB for me this morning. I'm Mr. JCB now. I am. There it goes. It's off. In that straw in. So the stack at the back of the farm is really going down. We're just on the back back row now. The bales are the opposite way. It's coffee time. So I'm just standing here trying to get Andy's attention. Well, I've just had my dinner. Um, we'll go out and see what Andy's been up to. I think he's been milling. Um, we got a mix on. But we've also got to get some cows out right now, so um, that's our next plan. Yeah, so we'll just fill the mill up and then um, me and Andy will be getting some cows out. So the mill that we're using here is taking the whole barley, the seeds, the wheat, the barley seeds, and just smashing them into, uh, into a dust. Well, not into a dust really, they are quite big pieces, but um, so the cows can digest them. Looking in here for a few cattle that aren't Angus to go. 
We got this one out thinking it wasn't Angus, but it is. Best Angus I've ever seen. So how things change in a day. Like now I've had to take my coat off and I'm probably a little bit warm even with my jumper on for getting cattle out. It's uh, no more freezing. Weather, yeah. Not good for cattle this weather by the way, not good for cattle. So just checking around these guys, see if we can see any limmies or charolais and things like that. We usually write it on them if they're not Angus. See if we can find them. Nicely laid down anyway. We're just waiting for Andy to fill the mill up and then we've got some cows to get out of these guys. Um, but I've done an extra video and included in that is a bit of um, a walk around the TM420S because we didn't really get a chance to do that um, in the previous video. And also a look around the fast track icon because that was at Ollie's and then around um, a load of the tractors that were lit up and a few clips from Andy along the, along the way, bits and bobs like that. If people want me to put that up, then let me know in the comments and I will um, upload that. If you've had enough of tractor runs, then similarly let me know in the comments and uh, i'll just just leave it in the drafts and fetch it out in i don't know a few months time or whatever so yeah up to you guys really let me know in the comments if you want it or not um it's all there ready to go so um yeah if you want it you can have it while i've been here waiting i've got these guys appreciating my new john deere overalls yes you as well aren't you and you yeah you as well you're all here aren't you you're especially appreciative. Not a. <laughs> Give up. Give up. Right, I'm done. Me and Andy are just on with levelling the water trough up where they've made a mess and made a pond. Um, this was quite heavy. So I think Andy's stronger than me, so it should be alright. <laughs> no. <laughs> Do you want me to fetch another piece? Yeah, that'd be right. Yeah. Okay. He's had to go back across because he's left his stick on the wall. <laughs> Hello guys, you happy? Hey? Hello. Hello pretty. Yeah, you're lovely, aren't you? Yeah, it's about happen when you destroy water drops. This is the straightened ram. And we're gonna cross our fingers that it's gonna work again. Um, I mean it might have bust the seal. It might not, but um, yeah, well, it's a lot straighter than it was. Andy's having a, a nice time getting under there. Hey, it's nice to see you on floor for a change, Andy. Yeah. Got to do some oil changes while we're at it. <laughs> while you're feeling a bit fruity. <laughs> um, yeah, so we just got the bungs to take off. So we bunged some pipes up so that we could still use the machine. And then we got that to go back on there. And this is Andy's baby this, so I'm just um, I'm apprentice on this one. Andy's just enjoying himself under there. Just putting Ooh. the pins back on. Got all the pipes on now. And I've just got to put a pin through this end and then job should be a good one. Getting dark, Andy's tidying in the barley because we just pushed that in with the bucket. And it's now time to get some feeding up done with the TM. So lights are on, we're getting everywhere fed now. It's time to feel a little bit tired as well. This and is keeping busy, but we've got all the tractors in the shed now, and it's um, it's gone five o'clock, and it's ready for your home time. I think for me, definitely. If you've liked today's video, remember to press that like button and subscribe if you've not already. Half past one at night, me returning home has not done me any favors right now, Andy. And I've got to go and do Christmas shopping as well, and I've got to wrap stuff, and yeah, and I'm, I'm not into any of that stuff. But um, yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed it, guys. If you want to see more on the tractor run, like I said, let me know in the comments because I've got another video with a few extra bits in it. And a, bit, a few bits from Andy as well. Andy Cam. Yeah. On his little um, trip around Liverpool. You said you quite liked it, didn't you? Yeah, it's right, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah it's quite... It's, yeah. Like, I don't know. I don't know why I had preconceptions about Liverpool, but like, it's not really nice city. Actually, yeah. driving around, it's lovely. Like... Yeah, might have to go around with Becky again one time. But yeah, anyway, guys, thanks for uh, thanks for watching. We're off. Bye. Yeah.